So let's jump right into it. Meeting a guy, best time or, or best way to, or you know what, best position to meet a guy. And when I say position, I mean you and what position your hair, makeup, and or clothing is in. Um, ladies, so it's better for a guy to actually grow into seeing more of the beautiful side and the sensual side and the curvy side of you as they get to know you because it grows their interest and their desire for you, not the opposite. Explain, Douglas, gonna do exactly that. So I meet this chick and she's got on jeggings and um, makeup and her hair done. She's ready, she's got on, she's got on flats, okay? Uh, okay, it's attractive, it's a wonderful state. She looks good, however, we start dating and I see her without the makeup. I see her without the body shaper and the body shape jeggings on. And I see her without her hair done. Now, she's feeling like I'm more comfortable, which is what you guys like to use a lot of. I'm more comfortable now. Watch this. I'm more comfortable now you can see the real me. Now, don't get upset, just realize how freaking confusing that could be for the guy. That literally, after about a week or so, or more or less or whatever, he's meeting the person behind the curtain. He may not like the person behind the curtain. Whether it's just physical or not, ladies, just understand that if he doesn't like the person behind the curtain, that's gonna cause a problem. Because if he wants the person that he met, he's gonna be constantly trying to make sure or trying to be around or deal with you in the state that he met you or the state that he got used to. Jeggings or body tight clothing so he can see all your goods at, all, at any time. Makeup so he can get the face that he wants and hair so that he can get the look that he wants. Now if you build that beast, then you're gonna have to deal with it. So Douglas, what would be your solution? My solution would be you meet a guy, however you meet him, as soon as possible, you need to be bringing them into the normal you. Understand and establish that the time that you met, if you were in a state of makeup, not just not just on your face, but makeup, like playing playing um, a white party or playing club scene or playing wherever you met them, and you had to do you were a certain part, you were doing a certain part in that as to how you look. Make sure that that's established so that he sees or gets used to or sees or understands that he really likes or is feeling the real you. And then watch this. Let me show you how this grows. Because then when you have to do those things again or you just want to dress up or make up, he is caught off guard all the time because it's not that you're being regular all the time or that you don't have any kind of uh, way, uh, uh, sexy way about yourself. It's just that that level of sexy or that level of 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 provocative or or uh, um, attractiveness sorry about that is reserved and he knows that he may have to wait every now and then for that so let him because when you do it it's that much more more of a great thing for the male because he feels like you're doing it one for him key hint hint for him and two that he knows he has a Corvette or whatever exotic car that guy really likes underneath the veil in the garage if he wants to bring it out. But he has a very nice luxury sedan every day. So watch out with how full throttle you're going or that you are when you meet somebody because if you have to keep that up, you're not going to keep it up. And you don't want them to not like what's not kept up. So if you get it, you get it. If you don't, I'm sorry, just trying to help. Love y'all.